Uh, we are going to do these uh, this uh, lab assessment. It's kind of confusing lab assessment because it says you to do implicit cursor which you actually can't because implicit cursors are made for every manipulative language statement right database manipulative language DML statements uh, uh, automatically by the Oracle right okay now let's understand first what is a cursor right cursor is like a pointer uh, that you read in C C++ the context area now to easily say what a cursor is right a cursor holds the rows okay returned by an SQL select state okay let's say you uh, assign a role number let's say the first borrower that we made in the last thing so the role in was role number here right so the role number here so uh, to declare a cursor it's kind of like declare uh, c1 cursor uh, cursor for uh, select right uh, role in uh, from borrower right so this will be how you will make a cursor okay so what this cursor is it points to the role in or this can also be made to star so it points the whole row but here I am just pointing role in let's say role in your role in has values like say one right two three four five that's it right so the cursor will point to one and then two and then three and then four and then five with each of its iterations right so we usually pair a cursor with a for loop right but here they have also asked for weird cursors such as if i would show you Implicit cursor is just a DML statement. You can put any DML statement and there will be an occur. You can say there is a cursor. Explicit statement. So for explicit state, explicit cursor, a cursor is kind of explicit only because any cursor that we make is explicit cursor that uh, the user makes or the programmer makes, right, is going to be an explicit cursor. A cursor should have a for loop. It isn't compulsory, but it is more so like it must than it shouldn't right if there is a cursor first of all also cursor should be avoided right cursor takes up a lot of resources and cursor should be avoided at all costs many of the cursor uh, things can be easily done with joints but here cuz we are studying cursors we are being introduced to the concept of cursors so we have to perform the cursor but in reality you can use joints to easily without using loops and etc and exit controls you can just join two tables and that would be it the need of cursor will be solved and then there are parameterized cursor so you know what a parameterized cursor is a cursor with parameters a parameterized cursor right which takes a parameter in as a parameterized cursor or which is based or does something with a parameter all the cursors and everything are put into <coughs> what we call is a procedure that we looked in the previous lab assessment how to create a procedure, delimiter, begin, procedure, <coughs> right? We wrote all that. <coughs> so that was our procedure. So cursor will be inside the procedure. So let's see how a procedure will be. What I am going to do is I have already created a database and created two tables on which uh, like it is written, okay? newly created table is new roll call or end roll call and old 
table which is O roll call. Okay. If the data in the first table already exists in the second table, the data should be skipped. So let's say old roll call I have four, right? And new roll call I have like three. So I have to put O's into so O has duplicate copies of the new roll call, but new roll call may not have some things which there it is present in the old roll call. So I want that particular entry without copying the duplicates. So that is our goal for this lab assessment, right? That is true. Okay. So I have created two roll call tables. So you can see the descriptions of each table. There are three uh, variables or features. First is a field, which is a primary key, okay? A name, which is a character, uh, a character array, an address, which is an, an again a VACA 30. Similarly, any roll call also similar, same, but this is not a primary key for some reason. We'll talk about that later, or maybe it is not worth talking about. So I have <coughs> added O roll call. So in this O roll call, I have Sunny, Harshit, Vivek, uh, and Sahil from their respective addresses. <clears throat> and now uh, I have another which is the new roll call list in which I haven't added Sahil, right? So this is the new roll call list. This is this. So what we need to do is use cursors, right? To insert Sahil into this list, okay? <clears throat> right. Let's insert one more just for fun into oh, roll call values red five mm -hmm. so yes that's it right so if we were to do select star from o roll call now so there are these so bit boys added and that is what it is right so now we have to make a thing a procedure what i had told you earlier what to do when you have to make a procedure. Make it on a text file so that you can edit it and then copy and paste it on the terminal that you're going to do so that it is safer and it is much more, you know, better utilization of your time. Yes, so we'll be doing it on this thing. So in the explicit, we want a little different stuff. Mm, let's do something. So, uh, what I have realized is for a for loop, a parameterized cursor and a parameterized cursor is explicit. All things come if you do a parameterized cursor. <clears throat> So we are going to implement a parameterized cursor. <coughs> so I have I am going to write a parameterized cursor. Okay, so delimiter, right? And then I'm going to create procedure, right? Create procedure n1, let's say. Let's call it n1. Sorry, C plus plus habits. Begin, right? Now I'll declare, um, I'll take an input in the N1. So in, let's say RNO, let's call it RNO1, int, right? Yes, so declare RNO2, int. <coughs> declare exit condition. Declare exist condition, right? Boolean, we want it to be Boolean, right? And then we declare the cursor. 
so declare c1 cursor cursor for select <coughs> star select rule rno rno from core rule call where rno greater than rno one right so this is going to be our cursor right now we are going to declare continue handler handler for for not found right set exit cont equal to true right yes <clears throat> so we have done this so first you are to declare a cursor second next you're going to open the cursor so open c1 next you're going to fetch c1 and put it into something right some variable before doing fetch c1 though you can do l1 which is your loop one let's say right loop one uh, let's not give indentation otherwise it spoils in the terminal so l1 uh, let's say loop right we have to write loop keyword right fetch c1 into rno2 that is our variable right fetch c1 into rno2 hmm. if right not exists this is just a normal operation if not exist select star from n roll call um, um, where rno is equal to rno2 hmm. then <coughs> insert into n roll call select star from <coughs> o roll call where um where <coughs> where rno is equal to rn2 right yes and if right if and uh, now if and exit if exit exit point then close c1 you have to close the cursor then you have to um, leave the loop and that is why we have written the loop name so alba right and then end if right <coughs> and i think end so we write end loop l1 right D end and then dash dash. The main important points here in this above this is your program that's made and this will run and you'll get your thing. I'll show you how to by putting it on the terminal as well. But currently, let's see some things that you need to remember about a cursor, right? So, first is a cursor has four paths to it right four phases to it you can say first is you got to declare the cursor right then you got to open the cursor then you got to fetch from the cursor into some variable right fetch from cursor right into a variable into some variable right yeah some variable it can be set of variables if you're searching from 
if the cursor contains more than one column if the cursor is only single column as in this case it's going to be on one variable that is into r02 as we have written so <clears throat> this and then once you're fetched you've looped and everything you've done now you'll check if there is an exit condition so an exit condition so you have to declare continue handler not found set exit is exit condition equal to true that means when the continue when uh, there are no more entries in the cursor it will set the exit condition equal to true and then it will check if exit condition is true i mean if exit condition this will become true then you have to do one thing which is close the cursor so close c1 right and that's about it for cursors. Now we'll copy this and hopefully it runs without a hitch on the thing, right? So over here, let's go and control V it, right? We have done it here <coughs> and it's done, it's accepted. <coughs> now I'll set the delimiter back to this right so now it is set now we'll call n1 and then we'll give 3 because after 3 if you can see after 3 here after wake and his address we do not have variables in the new so i want to check if there are anything which is in the old roll call table which is not in the roll call table after rno3 so i'll press 3 yeah Three. let's pass three and we'll do this and no rows affected it says okay let's now print it ran so it ran let's see if select star from n roll call right n roll call gives you something new and you can see the sahil and bitboy are in the table that is it for the cursors for if they say we do not want to parameterize cursor just don't give a parameter out here and just select our no from our roll call and don't mention this where clause okay and then you can just do it the same way as it is done over here just don't take it over here and you'll be good to go so this was it for cursors